Welcome back to Volgar the Viking. You already know what's coming up, it's Valkyrie number five. Well, this is kind of strange. Everything is facing the wrong way. So that's the uh, first half of this level's gimmick. Everything is facing opposite of where they're supposed to go. Which makes the green Sky Knights kind of awkward to uh, maneuver around because you're sort of more used to uh, them coming at you rather than sneaking up behind you. But once you get the feel for their pattern, it pretty much is still the same. And I don't think they show up too much. And they're pretty much the only challenging part of this level, actually. feel sorry for the ravens, though, because they, they can't do anything until you're in front of them rather than bum behind. They can't go backwards, you know. Also, because we're going the opposite direction, the wind is also going the opposite direction, so our jumps are now skewed to the left rather than the right. But that doesn't really make a whole lot of difference, so... Eh. And to bring it home, there's just a little big lineup of ravens. Yep. Nothing but... Nothing like killing ravens when they can't do anything against you. So here's a supposedly hard bit. Um, because of our skewed jumping, it's supposed to be really hard to get over that spike. But uh, just throwing spears into those boxes right behind you will do you the trick. That's the first half. Here we go for the second half. That Valkyrie's getting a lot of warrior spirits around her belt. It's kind of hard to see her now because of all them spirits. So, one thing you need to know about these fans is that they're not really strong enough to keep you from moving forward. But they are strong enough to probably mess up your jump, so it's probably not a good idea to jump while they're blowing. Except maybe this one, because you have to wait for it to blow you upwards, and you can jump after you start descending. But you gotta time it right, otherwise you're gonna hit the spikes. So once you're on this chain, you're going to climb up to your just underneath that blinking light and you're going to do a single jump so that way you don't go flying off on that fan there.
So here's how to get that chest right there, because it seems like it might be impossible to get. But well, all you have to do is just throw a spear right there, and the solution pretty much makes itself obvious. And I will get up to that chest in a moment, as soon as I figure out what I'm doing with myself. For this Red Sky Knight, it would probably be preferable if you fought him on the second step rather than the third one because you'll have more room to roll when he plunges down. And uh, for the second one that's in those fans that are pointing down, we're going to draw him out so that way we don't have to fight him in there. And then I tried to do a little bit of a bet here where I can... I thought I could trick him into just constantly plunging down and then rising up. So that way I could hit him. But it... It kind of worked, kind of didn't work because of his constant need to back away from me. But I got him, it's alright. So for this bit here, you're going to want to throw a spear when the fan is actually on, so that way it'll skew your spear downwards. And then you can just roll jump your way over to there and you can get that chest. Now before we leave this air pit, we're going to throw some spears over to the left side of the wall so that way we can get the hammer of this part. And looks like our old friend Spear Traps here to stop us from reaching the end. But as I said before, you can outwalk the air current so that way you can line yourself up and you can go whenever you're feeling ready. And as soon as we reach the top here, that will be the end of this level. But you can't go all the way to the top on this fan alone. You're going to have to get on one side of the fan and throw a spear into the wall so that way you can leap onto it when you reach the top. And that about does it for this video. Hope to catch you next time. See ya. Yeah.